Welcome everybody to Let's Play Towns. I'm number 12 and I have a good and a bad message for you. The good news first, I got rid of my cold, at least mostly. The bad news is the last recording is kinda lost. Because the sound quality wasn't really good, in fact it was pretty bad and it was beyond salvaging and I was also sneezing <laughs> quite a lot in the videos, so... Yeah, it's... I can't salvage it. So, yeah, we won't see that anymore. <coughs> However, what we did in that video was working on our dining room, which is... Well, at least you can see it's going to be a dining room. It's not ready yet, but it's getting somewhat close. It's a reasonable close. <coughs> we started selling some mud to this trader who we can't see or whose wares we can't see anymore but he had some decoration stuff but mostly things we can craft on our own so no need to waste money on that and yeah that's pretty much it we uh, equipped those rooms as well so yeah we are basically ready for new townies once we get to 20 happiness which I hope won't take too long let me just uh, set my alarm okay so let's see what else we need to do it's been a while since I recorded towns due to my cold and uh, due to some things I had to deal with so I'm a bit out of this town again. Let me just see how much food we have. Kinda low on bread. I don't like that. Also low on cake. Cake shortage is nothing to be uh, to take lightly. And because our bakers are kinda lazy, I also want three of those and three of those. <laughs> Oops, just three. <laughs> Yeah, so we still have a lot of walls to craft here. How are our crafts people doing? This guy is just carrying mud. Yeah, we don't need it, and we there's no point in burning it to be honest, because I'm quite sure it's just gone if you burn the mud and. It still needs to be carried from wherever you dropped it to the uh, to the burners, so yeah, we have the same amount of work to get rid of it here, and we get paid for it. So I think we're better off this way. Yeah, we have some raw fish which we will cook once we have iron, or once we have enough iron for an oven because I want to have a smelter first. Once we have that we will look into uh, into making a kitchen but before that no, there is no need for a kitchen. I just had those fish here um, yeah, fished because I wanted the happiness boost from fishing for my farmers. Oh, we're at 14 now so it should only be a matter of time until we get new citizens. How's the wood doing? Looks pretty fine to me. Yeah, we have six wood available. We have somebody crafting here. Is that the guy with the special boots? Or did we just have it? No, we didn't have copper. Yeah, right now we're just waiting for the happiness to go up, so we can... Um, so we have more citizens. We can likely make the next citizen a baker again, because those guys don't or seem to be unable to keep up with the demand of food. I was under the impression they would be able to do it, but apparently you need three of them. And I don't really want to um, 
assign somebody else to do it. So I don't want to take a worker away from another group that is busy as well, except the miners maybe. Oh well, we're getting along. And we finally got some cleanup done. Thanks to this tradesman, Pinky Merchant. The first month of this in game year is almost over. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, to be honest. Yeah, well, I don't want to make any more walls here because. We have a lot of things to be crafted. We have the dining room to be finished, and we have this uh, the floor here to be uh, yeah, that needs finishing. So yeah, I can't or I don't want to assign more walls to be built because anything I do here will delay the construction of this house. And let's face it, I need this house because I want my citizens to be happier. And as we all know. The source of true happiness is a window and a wall. And maybe a door. That aside, we just yeah, we just need those walls. Also because I want to build a second level of uh, personal rooms above that and they can't just float in the air, so <coughs> we need a bit of construction work. Maybe I should have waited with the dining room, but it felt needed. Actually, we will just, uh, I think, already assigned those containers. Let's manage this one. Yeah, you can put everything in here. But I wanted to have. Uh, Cooked stuff in there as well, and baked stuff. I know I'm basically reverting the order of uh, storing I gave. So I just uh, keep fruits out of here, mostly because we need those in the kitchen more than we or in the bakery more than we need them here. As already established, fruits don't fill anything up. They have a food value of I think 20, which is rubbish compared to bread, which has 75, or compared to pie, which has uh, 85. So yeah, we are better off eating bread than eating anything else, what is it, pie. Don't try to uh, re use that to reason with your parents, though they will not make uh, let you eat more meat pie because it lasts you longer. Yeah, we mostly have that bamboo to be <laughs> for, for sale because it's yeah it sells decently. It's a nice thing to have. Nothing else. You can use it to craft traps, I think. Yeah, there is a bamboo trap here. Bamboo shooting trap. Uses three units of bamboo each time. Each trap uses three bamboo. But we won't use that for a while. I don't even know where, to, where I would place it. I mean, there will be a city wall at some point. It's likely going to be here where the Stockpiles are right now, but that's something I'd like to keep for when we have more citizens because I'd like to have a somewhat uh, strong wall just for the looks, and that means I need a lot of material for it. And right now, the only material we have plenty of is wood, as we can see here, but it would uh, it would require a ton of construction tasks. And oh we have no citizens. Two more people have arrived. Awesome. 
That means we will now need to craft two more sets of wooden equipment for them. This can't really wait. Oh, and we have one of those. Store. Kind of inherited from the last owner. Two more wooden swords. And we will make this one here a cook and baker, and this one here a craftsperson. Why? Because those are the two job groups that need it most. I know I could have also made a fourth baker, but I think we can also use the additional craft. Because it means we have <laughs> kind of an increased crafting capacity of 30%. 50% more. You only had two. Yeah, maths, I know. Don't comment on that, please. I know I'm asking for comments and everything, but don't comment on my math skills. Thank you. Look, the dining room is almost finished, only one table left. I don't know if you actually need one table at each chair, it's, I think you need that in Dwarf Fortress, or at least it makes people happier if they have a chair and the table to place their foot on. No idea how it's here, but we'll find out soon. We can see the wood farm is, or the tree farm is sufficiently sized, as in we still have trees left and we don't use them up faster than we uh, faster than they can grow. Granted, they do grow quite fast, but I'm happy with it. And now we're selling flowers. Could you sell those a bit faster? There were only three flowers left to sell. Then we can finally get rid of that guy and have space for another trader. I think there's also a sound when immigrants arrive, but I can't hear that at the moment because I barely hear anything from the game. If I tune the game sound any louder it's going to be too loud so my comments will be completely lost. And since you are watching my Let's Play, and the Let's Play is mostly about people commenting while they play, that would be quite a loss. Because then it will just be a video of some guy playing something without saying anything. Or without whatever is being said about it not being able to be heard. Kinda confusing, I know. Also, we are at the current limit of, oh, we are almost at 15 minutes, Ooh, we have something else, oh the caravan is gone. Anyway, we will stop the video for now, and I'll see you in a moment.